Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Zips, and welcome back to Wild Frost. Ooh, okay. I, it's late, but I still have a right of energy, so let's get this going. Let's get this going before I burn out. Uh, this leader was pretty good. Yeah, this leader. And per the favor of my friend Cash, I'm gonna name this leader Chun-Li, which, there's a chance I've already named a leader in this series Chun-Li, but, eh. It was bound to happen eventually. We were bound to have a repeat, a repeat name eventually. Oh no, I I am starting to feel I'm starting to feel the tiredness kick in a little bit. No, it no tired, no tired, only only energy. No, no sleepy. I'm really greeting for this multi- Ooh, wow, I am really greeting for this multi-kill here, huh? I'm able to... Alright, it's fine if I do this. So here, what I should do is I should Sunsung box Chun-Li. So Chun-Li... So that when Chun-Li's attack... So Chun-Li can do one of her, like, spinning bird kits... Kicks, I think, is like a special move she has in those games. She can do her s spinning bird kick a little bit sooner. Heal in two. It's funny because, like, my friend Cat, my friend Cash, <laughs> only ca So, if you, the situation with Cash is that Cash is the feet guy. <laughs> sure, I'll, sure, I can, I'll, I'll share the. Uh, do I let this godling run away so I can get a bigger multi-kill? Yeah, fuck it. Let's do it. You know, it, at, when you're, when it's this late, sometimes you just gotta say fuck it. You just gotta, you just gotta say fuck it, we ball. We're gonna do these unoptimal plays. Which, I think it's fine because we're still making, we're making pretty good bank out of this fight. Um, I mean, I, I get the I get the kill earlier if I gear hammer it. Might I just need to keep rocking back and forth. I don't know if you can hear. Just keep rocking back and forth. this whole recording is just gonna be like me trying to stay energized so I can say my silly goofy so my so I can remain goofy. No money here, so it's double frozen travelers. So. Crago. I mean, I did say sometimes it's just time to ball. And Krago almost always is. The People love Krago. So I'm going to take Krago here. I th and it's for the early game. I think it's better than... I I took that on accident. Although I think it's pretty solid. The nice thing on True Mind is that I don't have the mastery on True Mind. So if we win this run, I will get the mastery on True Mind outside of his clan, which is pretty cool. Which is pretty... Silly. I think I should take a, G a GG's Gizmo. Definitely. It's a way to recycle. If I, I might take Toot Tordian too. If I'm being honest. Mm. Too, all this junk in the deck is a little suspect. I think I'll be fine with it. Um, maybe, be, maybe since we're playing Krego, I should actually take this. Plus, I can then GG's Gizmo it. Oh, actually, we could do a fun run. We could do a goofy run where I where, where we GG's Gizmo to keep Shroom Mine alive. That seems real silly. God, if I could get that off, that'd be that'd be cool. Alloys. I mean, like something that helps for that idea is gonna be alloy. Alloy's gonna help quite a bit. I guess this is what the idea we're doing. We're gonna just try to keep the shrew mine alive. That or we're gonna do a standard run. That That or we're just gonna do a standard run and I haven't realized it yet. Uh unfortunately for me, I think I'm just gonna let my leader take this four. Mm, there's really I can redraw here to try to reduce it, actually. I don't need to play out this hand. Yeah, we can just Nozuka do. 
reduce it by a lot. There we go. Alright, now I need ally here. The mimic on the top can't act. Although this bottom lane is messing me up quite a bit. Yeah, that's a, that's a lot of damage. I can GG's Gizmo here, or I could... I don't think... I don't... I, I could Sung Sung Box Alloy. I think I'm just gonna do this, so we can survive a little bit longer. Money here is a little sad if I do let this... Oh, but it's kind of a thing where the money is really sad if I let... Okay, wait, what's my multi-kill looking? It's looking pretty... Okay, I am getting a guaranteed triple kill. If I do it like this. Which... I don't know if that's gonna make up for very much. Here, I think I really want to try, like, gunning for... Oh, but how do I... How am I gonna do that here? Okay, I think it starts with Snowzuka. Snow Gluka. I could recall. I mean, I'm missing. Okay, I. You could recall Crego. Let me think here. It would have to be we recall Crego. Okay, if I recall Crego, we. We sun sung box you. I need a porcupine you next turn. So that's one hit, one hit. Oh wait, yeah, I'm pretty, this is this is looking like a four kill to me. All right, so yeah, it starts with gear hammering you. We're gonna let all our lead. Oh wait, I can't let my leaders. Uh, no, it's I I can't let my leader. I can't let my units take this far. I just need to move little Gazi up. There's a very high likelihood you're getting a... You're wiping out the board. Sweet. Let's go. I knew I, I knew I could find it there. Yeah, check this out. Shroomine? Shroomine is chillin'. Is chillin'. Shroomine... This, this little... This little man is absolutely cruising. He is never, he is never gonna die. And neither will I. Because he's never gonna die, and that's gonna allow me to live. Yeah. Progress. God, if I could do this line, it'd be so cool, man. It'd be so sick. Oh, God, but no money, uh. Stormglobe Snowcake. I think I'm gonna lean more towards Snowcake. The problem is, I already picked up a lot of items. Although... Uh, no, I think I'm pretty happy with our units right now. I'm gonna visit... Yeah, we're gonna take the treasures instead. Sunglass Chime is... Maybe okay? Problem if I keep taking cards is gonna make playing Shroom Mine harder. But then we also, I don't know if I'm gonna be doing Shroom Mine. I should just take Sunglass Time. It's really good for playing Krago, and it's really good for the Soul Squad because the Soul Squad is very high turn counter. Frostbite Shard, Clockwork Bomb. Perspective picking, perspective clicking, Frostbite Shard isn't bad. I think because there's two things you could. There's two things you could see here that are really good, and that's Mega Mimic, which immediately isn't actually that good. I mean, it's Mega Mimic's fine. It's basically just five attack. It's literally just five attack Mimic, but we need to play. But we would need to play Frostbite Shard to get that combo to work. Or, I, it doesn't actually, the more I think about it, the more the more it doesn't seem right. I'm just going to take the crown here. To, could today be the day we play GG's Cookie Box? 
Ooh, and a second GG's Gizmo? Probably not. I think today it might... I also don't have the... Okay, this run here is gonna be the... Ma get the mastery on cards you don't have mastery on. Alright, let's see. Nah, it's better to... We're fighting Infernoko, so it might be better to crown... It might be better to crown Shroom Mine. We just really try to draw for cards that allow us to keep Shroom Mine alive. If, because this that will allow us to take down backlines. Although, I guess I'm already taking down backlines. Although, mm, if I'm having all these units crowned, I think I should take Lil Gazi off. If I'm crowning Shroom Mine, I think I should take Lil Gazi off the squad. Because you're going to have a really hard time playing Lil Gazi. I think this is fine. Uh, I'm going to play towards what I think makes this fight easiest, and that's stuff that can take care of backlines. So we are going to, yeah, we are going to keep the crown on Shroomine. And we're going to start with a snow, we're going to start with a snow cake on the mini moko here, because that mini moko is very threatening. Fucking hate. I don't know why. I, I don't know. I try anymore, man. Okay. Well, how can I keep the shroom mine alive? I need to play Krego. Hopefully, this will be fine. We freeze that guy. I will then freeze. Oh my god, I'm thinking... Okay, maybe I just say... Maybe I just say goodbye to Shroom Mine here. I don't... I guess it's... Krego, in the grand scheme, probably doesn't matter too much for this fight. I feel like I'm gonna... I'm, I'm letting myself... I'm leaving... I am afraid I'm leaving myself open to just get fucking trounced here. Jeez. Alright, GG's cookie box. Let it roll. Let it roll, GG's. Okay. I guess that's what we're doing. So, I'm poisoning... I, the end result here is that I'm poisoning two guys here. Just, we're killing the Frost Stinger and... Maybe it was actually right. Maybe this, because this end result is not bad. The end result really isn't too shabby. I'm going to do this. I'm going to move Junkhead up here. I can GG's, GG's Gizmo Junkhead. And it seems fine. I could also snow the Mini Moko. I think I'll do that first. There's, we have dealt with a lot of the threats in this fight. Ooh, I was... Hmm. Do this to draw two extra cards that are useless. Sheesh, man. Ugh. Okay, Junkhead is still alive, thankfully. I need to set up the kill on the Gobbler. That's the best thing I can do right now. Oh, wait, no. Junkhead doesn't stay alive here. What am I saying? We do take out everything else in this fight, thankfully. So if my units could just act one more time, then it is a win for us. Okay. Keep Krago going. I do have Snowzuka here. You're already snowed. I guess I'll just play Ink this turn. Snow. Now I need to not get owned. And we're fine here. We get we get out of we get out of this fight. I think 
I didn't play this fight. I, this, 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 this build is really strange. So I, I think it was right of me to try to change my thinking in a strange way. But man, am I poor. We could play Gnome Charm on... Okay, you have some weird... You have some interesting options here. You could play Gnome Charm here. You could play Gnome Charm on Alloy or Crago. Depending on what you're feeling. I think it is definitely going to be Gnome Charm here. Gnome Charm feels like it's a condition to win. Okay, thankfully for us... We are able to buy another crown because we did get, we did get l not lucky enough for Blink for Blink Cave to be in the right. We did get lucky enough to get a Blink Cave for right before forging stove. What the hell am I doing here, man? I don't know. I suppose we can just play Crago. If you want to play Crago, it's pretty okay here. Play, yeah, if you want to play Crago as your carry unit, it's pretty alright. Problem is that... Another cute thing you could do here is that you could do... You could try doing Alloy. You could give this... To, you could give Gnome Charm to Alloy, and then Alloy is... Alloy is hitting twice, is getting her effect off twice. Doesn't seem terrible. Look, I want to try new things. And also, this just generally see seems better for the early game, while Crago could be a bit gimmicky. <laughs> Crago's the gimmicky one here. <laughs> I I now now thinking about it. Crago's the gimmicky one. Man, this shit is omega gimmicky. Newell and Biscuit might be really good here. Actually, wait, could Newell and Biscuit allow me to infinite? Maybe. Maybe I, that maybe that's what I try to do. I try to play for an infinite towards GG. Uh, it's, I think that might actually be the idea. We try to play towards an infinite, which I have not, not tried in, what, which I have not tried before. Cause you can, in, you can infinite with Gigi's Gizmo. If we want to get this right, we need a real, we need to like, if we see any card removal, we need to immediately, we just need to blindly go for it. Man, this fight sucks. This fight is really, really bad for us. I should just snow cake the... I should just snow cake the... The goober jab, jab joke. J get Junkhead. Now, on the bright side here... All our units are getting a... We are getting a lot of... We are getting a lot of... I should let Shroom Mine. I should let the Gok get hit by the Shroom Mine here. Okay, it just hit the Gok twice, I guess. That's cool. Sunglass Chime goes pretty damn hard up here. So it certainly does. You're triggering, you're triggering the squad. Oh, wait, is that? Jesus Christ, how much damage did I took off from that one? I took four damage from that one spike. Oh, Lord. Now, I'm wondering here. It's, I could play Krego here, I think. I think I am going to play Krego. 
Prego can soak up that damage. True mine. Wait, I just let my leader die, didn't I? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Jesus, man. God, I hate- God, I hate Teeth Charm in this game. It's such a fucking- such a fucking bastard of a- such a fucking bastard of a mechanic. Oh my god. <laughs> The game this game should pay for my medical bill after after what happened there this game should be paying for my medical bill Oh it's to one random ally oh fuck Oh shit okay i think God the demonize here the demonize here with the fucking the demonize here with the Alright, now, you get the win. This You're getting the kill in the problematic gawk, and we're just gonna let Junkhead... We're gonna let Junkhead... That. We're gonna let Junkhead take two hits there. I need to find a better way. To, I really need to find a better way to recycle all this junk. It, this is a run where I think... <coughs> where I think it's gonna be worth... Where I think it's worth copying. I, I gotta. This is what. This is possibly one of the most gimmicky runs I've ever tried. But man, if we can get this gimmick to, if this gimmick can work, then it'd be kind of. It'd be kind of cool. We let our leader take four here. Our leader survives. That is good. Alright, please kill. Please get this mud and head out of here. Oof. <coughs> like, at the very least, I think I'll be able to get to Frost. Frost. I'll be able to get the Frost Guardian. God, but. The rewards for winning this run are massive because we get two cards. This will be Shroom Mine is the last. Oh wow, this is a tough choice. Gotcha bumper. I don't think it is. What if I do ICGM? Wait. Is this actually an ICGM run in disguise? Maybe. ICGM, I can make work, because we have Sunglass Chime. And then I could do a niche thing where Sun... I, I'm giving... Unfortunately, the problem is that I already gave a... Like, I don't want to fill up this deck anymore. I... ICGM is an infinitely better angle to build this run into than what I'm trying to do right now. But, yet, yeah, you, look at me. Do I look like I'm a sane person? You can't see me right now. Because I don't have a face cam. Actually, I should admit, that's something I should mention. Sometime in the future... Fuck you. Fuck you. I took this top half here because I want to copy GG's gizmo. Okay. Let's just hope that this that this stupid idea can maybe, 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 maybe work. Alright, we are drawing two cards here, which is glorious. We need to freeze it. Bigfoot here. We can let these. So in this run. Oh god, it's rough because I don't actually I need another way to generate junk. Ooh, that is a problem. So I need to generate junk, but playing junk head screws up 
screws up things for Shroomine. Or screws up. Okay, we're killing Bigfoot. Shroomine has four, which is pretty good. And then I could just send it again. Doesn't sound too bad. First, here I'm going to Snowcake, maybe? Eh, that's not much reason to. I think I'm just going to Sunglass Chime. There's no Teeth enemies on the board. Oh, that's curious. Uh, Teeth Charm. Whoa. Huh, that's... We in Wait. Oh, that wasn't that weird. It was just... Okay, so far... This doesn't seem to be too... In a fight, we're able to control more. This doesn't seem too bad. I think it's gonna be worth to just re- uh, def you definitely do, like- Like, you definitely let Krago get off this- uh, Get off this night eat- This night- Nice eat damage first. But now we're in a situation where we can- Where Krago has enough attack to where Krago can just tank through- I mean, not Krago- Where Shroomine can just, like, tank everything. Uh, or not enough attack, enough scrap. Actually, I'd want to play out. I think I... Okay, what I want to do here... We're going to Flask of Ink, Big Glue, Redraw, hopefully find a Freeze for Bigfoot. I don't think I'm killing Wooly Drek here, man. I just don't have... This deck just doesn't have the... This deck doesn't have the hopes and dreams, too. I'm possibly taking four from the... God, yeah, the GG's Gizmos are so dead in this deck. Oh, man, it's really sad. I mean, we are applying quite a bit of poison. I guess I just play Krago then. Freezing the snow, freezing you is good. And the nice thing about Alloy is, Alloy does quite a bit of damage. Just something that should not be sneezed at. Alright. Um. Ooh, actually, I don't let, I don't let Big Luke, because I really want to kill a Wooly Drek here. Because it gets you a lot of net, it gets you a lot of extra money. Because Wooly Drek got, drops a ton of money. So it's definitely worth trying to stick around. I... There might... Actually, I might have been... I could have... I could have set up a multi-kill there. Oh, wait. No, I couldn't have. No, I couldn't have, actually. Due to how killing Big Lou... If I were... If you were to kill Big Lou first, uh, it would have just ended the fight. I said it before, but we need to prioritize removals. Bomb bomb. This is the second Blinky I see in this run, huh? Weird. God, I wish I could take that Proto Stomper. I just don't have enough money, man. Man, I just, I don't got enough. It's def. You definitely can't play Bomb bomb. I probably shouldn't even picked up Bomb bomb. I think I, I think I need to take the crown here, man. I need to save the final crown to be able to crown Newland Biscuit and, cause we're we're playing purely into late game here, so I need to save the final crown and then I need to find another card, a card that generates junk. And I think I found one of the, the only option we have at this point is fucking, is goddamn is like. I think the only option I have at this point is, like, Trash Charm, or... Oh, boy. 
But hey, look at this. Shrew mine. Eight poison. Fun? Not really. Fun? No, uh, nope. The order like this. Then you freeze quick. Ah, oh, the GG cookie boxes are so unbelievably sad. But the GG's gizmos are so unbelievably sad. I'm still gonna do this, though. I mean, we are... We are immediately killing the Grank. Which is kind of cool, I guess. It's, it's kind of fun. Alright, I think I'm gonna just sit... Accept it that I'm, I need to play Junkhead here because it also gets you value out of GG. It also gets gives you values out of GG's All right time to snow we snow cake crunker I gotta say There's no way this run gets Gets past like gets past frost brigade, right? Because I feel like our leaders just get snapped. Oh, maybe with I ink frost. Okay. Maybe. Maybe there's a way. May maybe. 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 Honestly, maybe there's. Maybe. Just maybe there's a way. Okay. GG's on to. GG's on to you. I didn't really... Alright. Well, we put one spike wall out of commission. I forgot to move Shroom Mine down. I mean, I guess it's nice because you get another piece of junk. Alright. I need to play... I need to play Gear Hammer on Junkhead because I need junk. Then we can GG's. GG's once again. D keep drawing through the deck. We get another GG's. See, if I can make this deck small enough, it is possible for us to just infinite, at infinite on True Mine. Now, if I could, like, if God himself wants to descend from the heavens and give me exact, and give me the exact setup of Numlin, of a Numlin charm and, of Numlin charm and fucking bomb barrel, then that would, then we, this could work, then we would just have an infinite. However, like, Yes, is that ever actually gonna happen? No, no, it's not. It's not- that's not gonna happen. And you know what? I will take a just-in-case screenshot of this shroom mine, because this shroom mine does look pretty epic. Pretty fucking- this shroom mine does look pretty fucking badass. God, I just- man, Junkhead being our only source of junk is so sad. So got unbelievably sad. Yo, the double the double GGs. That that's that's the fuck that's the fucking dream, right? That's the dream. Double GGs is the is one hundred percent the dream. God, if this works, man, oh, it'd be so cool. Be so cool. I think I need to take HP Charm. Scrap Charm can help. Wait, unbelievably stupid idea. What if you, what if you play Balance Charm on Alloy? Hear me at. Cause but then it would allow Alloy to attack a lot quicker, and then just give more to Shroom Mine. 
I think that's a god awful idea. Scrap Charm's just a little bit more consistent. You know what I have to do? You know what I have to do here? You know what I have to fucking do? Let me show you what I have to do here. It's, you have to go to Shade Sculptor. I need to duplicate junk. <laughs> I, I didn't think this day would come, but I actually need to. I can't believe I have, I can't believe I have to say it, but I actually need to duplicate. Okay, also, we farm this fight. As long... I may not I may never have to actually play a unit. I may never actually have to play my play a second unit in this fight unless unless we run into an enemy in this fight that has unless we run into an enemy in this fight that has what 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 am I thinking of that has a uh, yeah, that's just this works the same way. As long as we don't run into an enemy with barrage, then we're fine. Yeah, no enemy with barrage. The goal here is you just try to keep you keep True Mind alive, and then True Mind just kills everything here. You have the ally to do. You have the ally to help. That's a lot of enemies that are dying from poison. I mean, like, this is... This setup's kind of cool. Say, this setup... For this fight in particular, this setup does almost doesn't look half bad. Crazy. And I think it... Having a second... Having a second... Junk in this deck actually is... feels Actually feels like it's helping. All right, I do need to get Junkhead down, though. Because I need more junk. Okay, I would love for all of you to eat, to just eat shit. Eat the shit that is. Eat the shit that is this, that is Shrew Mind's poison. Oh my god, he's actually. True Mind's going off, man. Go off, Queen. Queen. You know what actually is gonna might help us if we run it, because some of the enemies in the some of the frost from the, the enemies in the final fight will actually have. Yeah, some of the enemies are actually gonna have snow. Or actually gonna might have junk charm on them, so they might be they might actually just feed us junk, which I never thought I'd be relying on that, and I think it's kind of a bad sign if that's what we're having to rely on, because we just can't we just don't got literally anything that generates us junk. It could literally be a consume ink, kill your you play this uh. It could literally be a fucking. It could literally be a bomb barrel that says, when you play this, die. Okay, we also can pick up more junk for the build at Gnome Traveler. And I think that's, that's what I have to do. Okay. Final charm of this run. I'm gonna krill. I'm gonna lose it. Man, I got fucking three recycle cards! Oh, I swear, I hate junk. I hate- I hate- Okay. Wait, but taking all this is so bad, because I'm filling the deck up with cards that hurt the infinite! Balls! Okay, uh, also, I realized I never put this on true mine. Okay, I think I still need a... Wait, I don't have a crown set to play this. 
don't have enough fucking crowns to play Gigi's junk. To play, I will. I would have enough crowns if I. Okay. No, I feel like I I miss out on too much if. I... Ugh. I'm gonna lose it. I'm gonna fucking. I'm gonna fucking lose it. Wait, no, I can take the crown off Lumen Vase. I can take the crown off Lumen Vase. Okay, so we can do this setup. Now, I think I will take Pepper Reaper for one extra junk. How many individual junk cards? I have one, two, three, four. I need more than that. God, I need more. I fucking need more, man. <laughs> That's not enough. Alright. Well, it's time to lose. I, I need to take Craig out. And I, I absolutely need to start taking Craig out. And we need to we need to throw we need to throw Junkhead. We need to throw Junkhead to the wolves whenever we can. Play this. We all agree that this ain't that shit. This shit ain't. <laughs> we okay. I want to make sure we're all in mu mutual understanding that this shit ain't gonna work. This shit. Ain't, this shit. This shit ain't it, Chief. No oh, fuck. Okay, we're fine. Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh god. Okay. We have a lot of junk now. That's good. That that shit. Ooh, that's good. Now we just need to keep Shrew Mine alive. <laughs> oh god. Okay. Keep keep our boy keep our our silly little man alive. God, I can't believe I had to take this fucking stupid ass Pepper Reaper. I mean, honestly, I don't think this board receiving attack actually doesn't really matter. In a weird in a weird way it doesn't. In a funny way it doesn't matter. Cause Rock Hog is like the I okay, we I absolutely need to take Krago out of this deck. Cause Krago just screws things. Craigo just screws shit up. Okay, we're gonna be able to get out of this fight alive. And you know what I've done with this run? I've stepped on... I've... Oh, I don't have... oh, God, I hate junk! I hate junk! I hate junk builds! I hate junk builds! I hate... I hate junk builds, man. I fucking hate junk builds. Oh, I'm tilting. God damn, I hate junk builds. They're so fucking terrible. Never mind, they're great because we finally... I mean, I do... It is, admittedly, I do have enough junk on Shroom Mind that Shroom Mind's never gonna die. I guess another thing I need to consider is that it's another, it's just another win condition for this run. If, is, you can just stack up, the real win condition is not junk. That might have been my downfall, actually, for this run. I, I've misunderstood the win condition. The win condition in this run was not to stack junk in the deck. The run condition was to stack alloy. To stack, to just make alloy attack a bunch. Maybe it's still possible in this run. It's gonna be real hard, though. I feel like we need to draw a flawless... I feel like we need to draw, like, a fucking flawless hand. If we want this shit to work. <laughs> but, yeah, maybe maybe we will draw a flawless hand. What if, what if we did? What if we did? 
All right, take us to the finish line. Take us right in front of the finish line and to where we're going to take us right in front of the finish line to remind where we're going to fall in. We're going to fall on our face and die. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Let us begin. Alloy shroom mine. Definitely need to do this. Drawing a GG's turn one is really good. Sunglass chime. Okay, you know what I actually do here? That's it's a weird setup. But what I do here. Um no, yeah, this works. This looks really weird, but you play GG's. You play GG's here on Sunglass. Sunglass dies, so the order is gonna be You attack first, then these two attack. They're gonna kill Sunglass time. Everybody acts and then we're gonna Okay. I don't know, maybe. Maybe, maybe. If this works, I'm gonna be I'll be so happy. I it's like junk junk frost joker is dying Keep that in mind frost joker is fucking dying Okay, 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 okay think think what do I need to do here? I think I need to redraw for flask of ink and snow cake We need flask of ink in order to dodge frost lancer I think that's the only way you survive here. Okay, we snow Frost Crusher. Frost Junker goes down. I I I threw. I threw. Oh uh, wait, no, I'm, I didn't. I have enough to. I have enough to survive. I, I, no, and I just ink Frost Lancer. Um. Uh, it's kind of it's kind of scary because I do have to eat this Frost Bomber. Holy shit, the one scrap is sa- the- the scrap charm is saving True Mine right now! Holy shit! Oh! <laughs> keep it fucking going, man! Keep it go- keep the dream alive! Keep the fucking dream alive! And then we get GG's in here! We get both GG's in their life! Oh my god, we're gonna do it! We're gonna fucking do it! Let's go! Get him, but get him, shroom, get him, shroom mine! Get his ass! Oh. Alright, then Alloy comes in. Oh my god. Oh, holy shit. Okay, uh, I need to play Junkhead bottom lane. Then I need to keep redrawing. So Frost Lancer is actually, it's actually, it's, it's such a fucking, it's such a fucking, un, it's an unwinnable match. It's an unwinnable matchup for the Frost Brigade. It's un, it's actually unlosable now. It's un, let's go. I thought this had no shot. I thought this had absolutely no shot at victory, man. Let's go. I'm starting to realize that after a long session of Fortnite tonight, my voice is really shot. Oh, man. Oh. I'll do this for Pepper. Let's, we can deal. This will, we'll do this for a little bit of extra damage. Okay, Frost Jailer, it's, it's, oh wait, I, I placed it on the wrong target, I meant to play it on True Might, and it doesn't really matter. Oh my god, this actually, okay, in all honesty, this actually felt like it worked out pretty well. The alloy here, the alloy giving two block at a time, really made, really, f felt really, really good for keeping it for keeping shroom mine alive and we got the fucking dope ass shroom mine alloy bill oh man 
No way we do a fucking cool ass run like this. Ugh. Fucking, I'm so happy. We actually got, we actually got this to win. We got, we, we did not, we did not fall right, we did not fall right in front of the finish line. We crossed that shit. We crossed that shit in flying colors. I don't think that, that is not how the saying, that is not what the saying is. It's passed in fly, passed with flying colors. Oh. Ooh, take a nice long sip of my Wawa. Ugh. All right. I I will I will settle down a bit. Like and usually I feel like I'd be like I'd be like freaking out. I'd be like going crazier about this, but like my voice is so shot from playing Fortnite and doing this recording. But I don't care. I'm ah oh, so good. What if I wasn't? What if my mic wasn't working and I looked at the, and then I just looked at OBS and saw that my I. Okay, I was recording too. Yeah. Okay, were we recording? Our mic was working. I did not really check for this recording, but we're good. We're here. You saw it. You're watching this right now. Thank you for watching. You saw this cool run. True mine and GG's cookie box. Fuck yeah. And that is every... With Shrew Mine, that is every single Krunker mass. That is a golden mastery on every single Krunker. Or every single Clunker, not Krunker. That guy's an asshole. Every single Clunker. Sweet. And last four... Let's have Lumen Vase, Leech Mask... Scrap pile and shade clay. We're getting damn close, man. We're getting damn close. Whamwood seems fairly okay. This leader also doesn't look that bad. Alright. That's what for next time. Anyway, that's gonna be for this episode of Wild Trust. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to like and or comment and or subscribe. While you're at it, share this video for your best friend or greatest enemy. I'll catch you guys later.